There are certain songs, by the time you get to the third or fourth note, thousands of people will recognize what you're playing and they will yell out so loud that you probably won't hear what you're playing. Hi everyone, my name is Lawrence Gowan. I play in a solo band called Gowan for many years. But I also play in a band called Sticks for the last 25 years. And I'm gonna show you today how I play Come Sail Away. It's the moment in the show when you can feel the entire audience completely united, ready to sing along with the band, mainly because the first intro notes just put them in that frame of mind, no matter where we play around the world. Now, in the intro of that song, it's it's the beginning of a, of a voyage. That's the way I picture it in my mind, is that we are just about to untie the boat and get moving or untie the spaceship. This simple little melody up above just uses that ninth note, that D over top of it. So then you're climbing. So you're from C major, D minor, E minor, back to D minor, back to C major, and then down to the fifth, dominant fifth, which is G major. Now, for those trills, there are many ways that people play trills. Some people play them with the second and third fingers. I'm not as good as that with that. I use the thumb and third finger usually. So slowly. As we start the song, the left hand is descending as the vocal is ascending. So that's a, a, a lovely feeling in rock. If you listen to the Beatles, A Day in the Life, that's one of the great examples of that. And this is another one. So you've got C major at first, E minor, back to, down to A minor. So I'm sailing away, set an open course for the virgin sea. So that figure repeats through the verse until we come to the kind of the B verse. So climb aboard, we'll search for tomorrow on every shore I'll try. So in the second section, when we get to the A minor, there are a few little figures that kind of happen uh, as a counterpoint to the vocal. So on, on board I'm the captain, so that's just an A minor moving up. On board, I'm the captain. And now onto the G, so climb aboard. Now this is a nice figure here that starts up high and it's basically a suspended fourth on the G. So you got, so climb aboard. We'll search for tomorrow on every shore and I'll try. Now the entire song of Come Sail Away, there's a transcription of it in piano, and you can use that tool very effectively to slow it right down and then gradually build up your speed and your confidence. And now you're back to the opening figure again, which is, and I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try. Big note coming up. Back to the intro theme again, which sets up verse two. I look to the sea, reflections in the waves spark my memory. More or less improvising how those chords are broken up, but it's still just C, E minor, A minor. And then the F, which has the major seven. And then back to the G. And now the whole full band is in there and we're all, we're all aboard. And now the vocal picks up higher. I'm off the piano at this point, but as if you're gonna play that on the piano. But Gathering of angels Now, 
as the title of the song kicks in, Come Sail Away, this is where you really want to make it rousing, get everyone to sing along with you. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. And everyone sing along to that. Before we're going to go to a key change that's coming up at the end of this. So you got four of those come sail aways. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Oh, that's the flat six. It's so important in rock that you go to the flat six. So in the case of C major, that's an A flat. Look at that. Okay. And then that flat seven is, you see, it's actually, it's like an F sharp chord, but with an A flat underneath it. That's a magical rock chord that you want to learn. Just to kind of give that, that impression of the waves are rocking. I'm just, you're just playing those two chords. And the right hand begins to kind of play a little, little whimsical thing at first. And then we're going to go into the next theme of the song. So let's play it again with the A flat underneath it, underneath. And if you don't want to do the pulse, just, just the synth, I'm just going. That's the main theme. Once that's there, you can improvise a little bit after that, but all of that is with the A flat and the G flat chords underneath it. When this A flat section concludes, you end up hitting a high C top note on the piano, you finally get to use it after all this time. Take it and then just basically, just do a little chromatic scale down like that. And let it, let it fall into oblivion, okay? Now as that's kind of resting there, suddenly we're going to, surprise, jump back into the key of C. And then the F major and G major. The, the power chords of the guitars are holding down but you don't have them, so it's all on you now. If you want to get fancy, you can play a little bit of the guitar solo, which is basically this. But you don't have to get that fancy. Anyway, there's an overview of Come Sail Away and how, how I would approach it as a piano piece and how I approach it, of course, in the band every single night when they do it with big guitars and big drums and big basses and big voices. Uh, if you want to really dive deeper into it, the entire song is transcribed in piano and uh, I would recommend that you take a deep dive into that. And now I'll perform the entire song for you. Set an open course for the virgin sea Cause I've got to be free Free to face the life that's ahead of me On board I'm the captain So climb aboard We'll search for tomorrow on every shore And I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try To carry on I 
Stop. 